So we've talked about the causes, we've talked about the symptoms, let's talk about the physical signs of what you would see in patients with heart failure. Because with medical patients, you're not meant to touch them, you're meant to look at them and say what you would see. So what would you see? Well, you certainly would see someone who is desperately short of breath, desperately distinct for the reasons that we have discussed. The lungs are congested, they're full of fluid, they cannot oxygenate their blood and therefore become desperately short of breath. So you will see someone who is short of breath. What else would you see? If you look at the mucous membranes, they may be blue. So you may be dealing with central cyanosis. Well, actually, in order to do that, you have to look at the organs inside the mouth because, as you know, the hands and the lips are subject to the outside cold, as they may be this morning, so there may be some cyanosis due to sluggish circulation. So if you're gazing in somebody's mouth and you see the tongue which is blue, you may be dealing with someone with heart failure. Mind you, you lie them so flat these days that they wouldn't be able to manage it. What else would you see? Well, if you look in the neck, you will see the most important physical sign of patients with congestive heart failure. There is jugular venous congestion. The external jugular vein is congested on both sides. And if you can't see it, you will certainly see its upper border pulsating, a double or a triple pulsation. And that is the most important physical sign of patients with heart failure.